What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a skipped stitch without having to throw your project away. So I sew everything on a Juki LU1508N and it started doing this and skipping every other step and causing these loops like this. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is a seam ripper and then you're going to just dive right in, kind of right in the middle of the problem area um, and just snip that top thread and then what we're going to do is go on the back side and we're going to do the same thing. Um, the reason I like to start in the middle of the problem area is it gives you uh, plenty of extra thread to pull through on the bottom side to tie it off. I use the back side of the seam ripper to help pull that thread all the way through to the back. Um, so that way it leaves the top stitch alone, um, but both threads are on the back side of whatever the piece is that you're working on. Now you can kind of work your way back to the last problem stitch by pulling on the, the bottom thread and it creates a, creates a little loop like this. Um, and then just there again use the back side of your seam ripper and just help that top thread come on through. And then just keep working your way back until you get to uh, that last, last stitch that was a problem. Um, because the rest of your panel on this should should still be all right. It, we're just trying to fix two or three stitches that were, um, were were the issue there for us. So once you get the last thread all the way back. Um, to that last last stitch there, we're going to do what's called a surgeon's knot. Well, I, at least I, I think that's the name of it. But how that works is, is it's like a shoelace knot um, that you just kind of tie around twice. Um, so you go around once, around again, and then you just kind of cinch that nice and tight. And what that does is the springiness of the foam of the material actually keeps that in place so you can tie it around again. Um, and I just do a double surgeon's knot. Um, I'll, I'll tie it two or three times because you know if you can't tie a knot, tie a lot, right? So we'll do that surgeon's knot on both ends of the problem area. So the good stitches on each side are actually locked in place. Now once you finish tying that off, I cut a, the remaining string so you have just a little bit sticking up. Um, and then I'll actually go back and touch those threads up with a little bit of glue 
so you don't have to worry about them unraveling um, later on down the road. So now you can see we have both ends are kind of tied off and you just have the remaining holes from the, the threads that we just pulled out. Um, so you want to go back to your machine and kind of line that up um, in, in the first hole that doesn't have a thread uh, going into the next hole, if that makes sense. Like uh, you're, go you're basically picking up right where you left off. Now I'm, I'm assuming you went ahead and figured out uh, what was going on with the machine. Um, you, obviously you want to address that first before you go right back into um, trying to fix a, a, a mistake or something like that. Um, you know, leave all your presets the same and uh, you should be able to just drive it right through. Um, it really helps too when you have a, a walking foot with this that has the, the guide um, piece on it. Um, you can really make sure you I think they call it a, a guide foot, but it comes with different widths and stuff to get a different offset depending on whatever you're working on. But if you have that guide foot, you know, if, and if you're not comfortable uh, using the, the servo motor or just pushing on the foot feed to, to go through the same holes, you can walk it, uh, which, which might actually be a little bit safer for you if, if you're not as comfortable behind a machine. Uh, that, that's where I'll actually slow down and I'll, I'll walk it um, myself. Then you get in that last hole. And what I'll actually end up doing is I'll go one more stitch past that last stitch that we tied off on the back side. Um, this way, you know, you can kind of ensure when you go back on the the back side you can you can pull that remaining thread back through um, it saves a lot of time in case you didn't go quite as far you know it's impossible to kind of go back and add another stitch I mean we've already wasted so much time trying to go back and fix this panel it never hurts to just you know go that one extra stitch then you know you have enough because you, you can pull it on the back side so it ends up perfect Now you want to leave a little bit longer thread on the back side than what you typically do because we're going to pull that bottom thread to get that that top thread to come back on the on the back side and then what we'll do is, is we'll do that same knot that we did on the other stitches um, and tie it off like we did before and then we'll add a little bit of glue um, to really lock that in so it doesn't come undone um, ever so go ahead and use your seam ripper like we did before, the, the back side of the seam ripper to help pull that back and through. And, and like I said, you know, I, I went one extra stitch and that was to be safe. So you can pull that back thread until you get the, the top stitch back in the last hole. So when you're looking at the top side, it just looks like one continuous stitch at that point. So once you get that last one tied off, go ahead and trim off the extra length of the thread. Um, be sure to go back over and, and touch that up with some glue. But as you can see with the panel, it it's, uh, pretty much looks good as new, as, as if we never had a problem in the first place. And that was kind of the goal, right? Well, hopefully that saved your project from going in the trash. I know I've used it numerous times when something like this happens. Uh, if you found the video useful, hit subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot more uh, videos like this, tips and tricks, best tools, and you know, walk around to some of the cool cars and custom interiors that we've had the pleasure to do. Thanks, guys. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands here. It's kind of stupid. What's up, everybody? Uh, uh, energy.